Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you three things that you need to avoid if you want your business to grow past five years. A lot of coaches out there don't make it five years because of these three things. So I want to make this video very concise to the point. You need a pen and a piece of paper if you want to implement and take action here. All right, let's go. So number one, this is the most common problem I see with coaches. It's burnout. When you get burned out of coaching, the quality of your sessions drops, your clients can sense it, they don't want to train with you anymore because your lack of energy. So if you're burned out, why would you want to continue being in this business? All right. So the way you escape being burned out is you need to learn how to delegate to take a step back and be a better business owner and start delegating certain things that could be outsourcing certain things to anyone that doesn't live in this country that you can pay ten dollars an hour uh, outsourcing the training to someone that you train and you show them your system on how you train the players and athletes that you work with or that could just be transitioning from one-on-one -on -one training to group training so a lot of coaches that get stuck in one-on-one -on -one training they get burned out because they're running too many sessions every day and they're tired of doing it and doing that over the course of three or four years is strenuous and it's hard physically so burnout is something you can easily avoid if you start to build a team around you, all right? The next one here, this is bad trainers. So if you are burned out, all right? So let's say you're burned out and you, you start to hire people. Well, if you bring on bad trainers, it makes you hate the business because you're relying on people that aren't doing a good job. And the way you avoid that is you create a better vetting process. So this way, when coaches work for you, you have them jump through hoops to actually get a job with you. And if you make it too easy for someone to work with you, you're going to probably attract the wrong type of coach. If you have the wrong types of coaches with you, your business will suffer. So if you have a bad trainer or bad trainers in your program that is going to filter itself all the way down to the customers and the customers will not like that and they're going to leave all right so if you have bad trainers you need to fire them today uh, and you need, need to do a better job of hiring and, a, and you need to have higher standards for the people that work for you the next one is big ego so every person has an ego and i think you should be really confident with your business and you need to be someone that at the end of the day, the coaches that work for you, like your business, you need to have values, you need to have high standards and people need to follow your direction. But what we've seen, and we've seen this often, is when your ego is too big, it's too hard to let control of certain things. And that's because you're trying to do everything all the time and you won't let go of little things that other people could do that could save you hundreds of hours per year. So the way you remove your big ego is you realize that your business that you have has nothing to do with you and it has everything to do with the kids and the athletes that you train. And your business is not about you and your brand that you've built. It's about the results that you get with the kids that you work with. And when you do that, when you think that way, you start to realize, well, why do I have this huge ego? Why, why am I such a control freak and just having to do everything by myself? And why aren't I giving more responsibility to our team members who could be doing these things that I'm paying them to do, all right? So again, burnout, bad trainers, big ego. Avoid those three things. And this business is a lot easier in the future, especially if you want to extend past five years. Hopefully this video helped you. If you're a coach that wants more hands-on coaching, more hands-on guidance with your business, and you want to scale it to the next level, send me a text right here at this number. That's the fastest way to get to me. I respond to every single coach that's ever reached out to me. So if you live in North America, send me a text there and I'd love to connect with you on a short 10 to 15 minute call. That's it, catch you later, see you soon.